in october 5th royal swedish academy of sciences had declared the name of the nobel prize laureate for this year in physics in this third video i will discuss little bit about the biography of the nobel laureates who win the nobel prize who really did the great job for discovering the great theories in physics great models to explain the climate and in the second part i will summarize some important contributions what they predict what they discover okay let's go ahead so first person i am discussing here is sukuru manaba this guy right here uh he born in 1931 in singhu japan and he did phd in 1957 from university of tokyo japan right now he is working as a senior meteorologist at princeton university usa and the second person who share one half of one fourth of the nobel prize is klaus hasselmann he was born at the same year as Sukuro, Dr. Sukuro, he was born in 1931 in Hamburg, Germany. He did his PhD from the University of Gothenburg in 1957. And right now, he is working as a professor of physics at Max, Max Planck's Institute of Meteorology in Germany. And the third person who shared half of the Nobel Prize is Giorgio Parasi. He was born in 1948 at Rome, Italy. He did PhD in quantum physics in 1970. Right now, he's a professor at Spinger University at Rome, Italy. Okay, right now, I'm discussing about the main contribution of the Nobel laureates of physics for this year. Sergio Parasi has a great contribution for predicting the disordered system. You know, in physics, it is very difficult to predict the complex systems. So, Sergio Parasi has done great discoveries of the interplay of disorder and the fluctuations in physical systems from atomic to the planetary level, from microscopic to the macroscopic system, the smaller system to the big systems. So it was really great contribution. Parase demonstrated the hidden pattern in disorder to complex material systems, all kinds of material systems, as you have seen here from atomic to the planetary scale, right? Planetary scale means big scale, and the atomic scale means the microscopic scales. So this is really a great uh, discovery, okay? On the other hand, Sukuru Munaba and uh, Has uh, Klaus Hasselmann get one half of the shared one half of the Nobel Prize for the physical modeling of ocean climate, quantifying variability and reliability, predicting global warming. Dr. Shukuro demonstrated how carbon dioxide in climate increases the temperature. He discovered the relationship between the increase in the level of the climate, uh, carbon dioxide in climate and how that increased level of the CO2 will increase the temperature, that is the global warming, right? He created a physical model for the first time. He was the, actually the first, first person who created a physical model in 1960s. He studies the interaction between radiation balance and the vertical transport of air. On the other hand, Dr. Klaus Hasselmann link weather and the climate. He presented reliable climate models and he also developed a method for identifying um, the relationship 
or fingerprints of the natural and the human activities in the climate so that we can predict climates in the right ways. So these are the huge contribution because in complex systems, it is very difficult. A lot of factors are playing at the same time. So it's really, really hard to understand the system. That's why this year's Nobel Prize goes to these meteorologists. In general, uh, you know, the trend of the Physics Nobel Prize deeper last year and this year than, than the normal trend last year. Uh, some astron physicists get the Nobel Prize. In general, it's not so. And this time, the climatologist get the Nobel Prize.